Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video I would like to show you step by step how to build a site in ClickFunnels 2.0. But before we get to that, two things. First, click that subscribe button that you see below the video and don't forget to enable notifications to not miss out on our future content. And second, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you will find a link to a free trial in the description of the video. And if you use our link to create your ClickFunnels 2.0 trial, you will also get our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus and it will help you to shorten the learning curve with the platform. Now let's dive into it. If you use ClickFunnels Classic and have ever tried to build a site there, you may know that a lot of workarounds were needed for that. For example, you couldn't even just build a header and a footer, you would need a custom solution for that. In ClickFunnels 2.0, site is one of the core features and you don't need any workarounds. Everything that you need is already here, as you will see in a moment. In fact, the site in ClickFunnels 2.0 has its own section. To find your site, go to the Sites overview and here you will have the site settings and site editor. Just a quick note, one workspace in ClickFunnels 2.0 can have only one site. If you have a plan with three workspaces, for example, then you can build three different sites for those workspaces. The first thing that you want to do for your site in ClickFunnels 2.0 is to select a so-called theme. You can do that by exploring new themes here. There are already multiple themes pre-created by ClickFunnels and you can browse through them to see which one you like the most. You can also partially preview the pages that are included and how they look. Once you find the theme that you like, just click on it and ClickFunnels 2.0 will put it on your site for you. I already have this theme installed for my site and I will go with it. After you selected the theme, click Customize. The themes already include main pages that you usually would need on your site, like for example a home page, a blog page, the customer center, course page and different error pages. The next thing that I would recommend you to do when you are creating a site in ClickFunnels 2.0 is to create a style guide. You can find it here. Click on the style guide and it will open a different editor for us. In the style guide in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can set the look of different elements, like for example headlines, subheadlines, paragraphs, buttons, define colors for the background, set how the shadows will look like, the borders, the corners, and so on. After you create your style guide, every time you create, let's say, a button on your site or in the future in your funnels, this button will have the style that will be pulled from the style guide. This way your site, your pages, your funnels will look unified and you don't have to worry if all your paragraphs have the same font or all your buttons have the same color because you will know that the style for every element was set up in the style guide and they all look the same. To customize the different elements, just click on the section here. Let's click on the fonts. Then you can select the font size and the fonts for different elements. Once you're happy with the changes, click Update to save the changes in the style guide. By the way, you can create multiple style guides, let's say with different color schemes. And after that, you can switch between them in the style section. As you can see here, I can select between different styles. Alright, the next step that you want to do when you are creating a site in ClickFunnels 2.0 is to create your header and the footer as a universal section. Most likely in the theme that you picked for your site, they are already created as a universal section, but you can adjust them here and make sure that they are a universal section. What is a universal section in ClickFunnels 2.0? That's the section that you create once and then you make it universal and you can easily add it to different pages, to different funnels. And if in the future you want to make some changes, let's say you want to add another section in the header here, you only need to make this change in the universal section and ClickFunnels 2.0 will populate this change all over the pages and funnels where you have this section added. To edit the universal section, click Edit block. And let's say we need another pricing section here. For that, click on the settings, go to the navigation links, click add menu, click on the new link, 
we will write pricing here and you would need to paste the link to the pricing page here. After you're done with the changes, click Save Universal Block and it would update this universal section and in our case the header on all the pages of our site. Then scroll to the bottom to the footer and also make sure that it's a universal section and you can adjust it to your liking. And this way your header and your footer will be on all the pages and you can easily make the changes in the future. Now let's talk a bit about the page editor itself. I will not go into the detail because there are a lot of elements in the page editor and a lot of details to cover. If you want to learn more about the page editor in ClickFunnels 2.0, I would recommend you to watch the video that you will see on the card here. That's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use ClickFunnels 2.0. But let me cover some basics. First of all, the elements that we have in the page editor. The biggest one that we have is a section and it has a green border. Whenever you want to open the settings of any component on the page, you either find the border of this component and click on the settings or you just click on the area of this element and it will also open the settings of this section in our case. One level smaller, we have a row. A row has a blue border around it and can contain multiple columns. You can easily adjust the look and the style of the row, change the background, change the border, shadows and the look of the corners. And the same you can do for each column if you have a multiple column row by clicking on the column settings here. And last but not least we have different elements like this image here, a headline, another headline, a subheadline, a paragraph and a button. To add a new section, row or element, you usually would first of all find a border of this element and then go to the bottom border and click add row or add element. Let's add another paragraph as an example. We click add element, choose the paragraph and you can just click on it and this paragraph will be added to the page. ClickFunnels has a lot of elements that you can use in their pages. Some of them are specific for different categories, for example, for a blog or for a course, and you can scroll through and select the ones that you need on your page. Overall, the theme already has a components that you may need on different pages. Like for example, here on the home page, we probably want to have an image, some headline, paragraph, and a button. Then we have a section with a lead magnet, the section with the products, more information about the person and also social media links, different testimonials, more links and so on. I believe you get an idea. As mentioned, I will not explain all the details about the editor, but there are a few things we need to do before our site in ClickFunnels 2.0 is ready. First of all, I want to show you how you can add new pages to your site. The pages that we have here in the theme may already be sufficient, but what if you need a different page? How can you add it here? For that we exit our site editor, go to the pages, select site pages and click create new page. You can either select any templates that you can see here, start from blank or select one of the pages that you already have. I will just go with this one, give it a name, change a page URL if you need. You can also do it later in the settings and after that create page. Now we have this new page opened in the editor. Hover over the name of this page and click this icon, edit page. Scroll a bit further. And tick off this checkbox, pin this page to side pages in the editor. Click Update page. This way ClickFunnels knows that we want this page on our site and it will also add this page to our site editor. You can find the pages that you added to the site yourself in this Site Pages section here. If you don't want to have this page anymore, again click Edit page and you can just either delete it or remove it from the site pages. Once you're done editing your site, don't forget to go to the mobile view by clicking on this icon and make sure that everything looks fine on mobile devices as well, because a lot of traffic nowadays comes from mobile devices. 
The last thing you want to do before you set your site to live is to update the SEO information and also the fav icon. For that, go to the settings of the site. If you have not done that yet, you can also update the title and connect the domain that you want to use. To set the fav icon for your site and also for the whole workspace and everything that you will have in this workspace, because ClickFunnels 2.0 uses the fav icon that you use for your site, also for all your funnels that you're going to build in this workspace, you can click select image and then select an image from your gallery or upload an image from your device. Just in case, a fav icon is this small icon that you can see on the browser tab when somebody opens your site. If you're using a logo for the header on your site, you can add this logo here. After that, scroll to the bottom until you see the SEO and share information settings. That's information, a title, a description that people will see about your site on Google or on social media, in this case even with a thumbnail, when somebody shares the link to your site on social media. That's why it's important to give your site a relevant title, add some description, preferably with the words that you want your site to rank for, and add a thumbnail image for the social media sharing. And once you're done working on your site, you again go to the settings and go to the site availability section and set your site to public. These were the main steps for you to create a site in ClickFunnels 2.0. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content and I will see you in the future videos. Bye bye!